In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, Christ is risen. Truly, He is risen. My dear friends, in today's Gospel, Jesus offers us the greatest gift we can ever receive, the gift of Himself, the Holy Spirit, and the gift of His peace. May we welcome His peace and share that peace with one another. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God Amen. in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God, Son of, of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartful devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Certain individuals came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the customs of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to discuss the question with the apostles and the elders. Then the apostles and the elders, with the consent of the whole church, decided to choose men from among their members and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas, called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the believers of Gentile origin in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, greetings. Since we have heard that certain persons have gone out from us, though with no instruction from us, have said things to disturb you and unsettle your minds, we have decided unanimously to choose representatives and send them to you, along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas who themselves will tell you the same thing by word of mouth. For it had seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to impose on you no further burdens than these essentials, that you abstain from what is sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what is strangled and from fornication. If you keep yourself from these, you will do well. Farewell. The Word of the Lord.
A reading from the book of Revelation. In the spirit, the angel carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It was the glory of God and the radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, a clear crystal. It has great high wall with, great, with 12 gates and at the gates, Twelve angels, and on the gates are inscribed the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east gate, there were three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And on the wall of the city has twelve foundations, and on them are the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. The city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, our Gospel for today is taken from the Last Supper discourse from the Gospel of John. In this dialogue with his disciples, Jesus prepares them for his imminent departure to return to his Father 
and encourages them to persevere and prepare for the upcoming events of his passion and resurrection. He also promises to send forth the Holy Spirit as guidance and consolation. Jesus says, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Now this phrase sounds rather familiar because it's said at every Mass. After praying the Lord's Prayer, and right before we receive communion, the priest offers Christ's peace to the congregation, and then invites the people to share that same peace with one another. Now, what is this peace that Christ offers us? The peace of Christ is the peace that conquers all our fears and anxieties. It is the peace that the world cannot give. And then he says, let not your hearts be troubled. Nothing can ever take us away from the peace of Christ. No sorrow, grief, danger, or even suffering can ever overcome the peace and joy of Jesus Christ. This is because through Jesus' suffering and death, he has made the ultimate sacrifice. He has conquered suffering and death by offering us eternal life. He strengthens us to overcome our fears and anxieties through the sacraments, especially in the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation. Christ's peace reminds and teaches us that even in the struggles we face all the time, God has saved, God does save, and God continues to save us. Now, I would be a liar if there was no suffering in the world. Unfortunately, people suffer every day, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and even spiritually. And every religion tries to give an answer to our suffering. However, Jesus did not come to eliminate suffering or find a way around it, but rather he came to sanctify it and make it holy as a means to eternal life. Even in suffering, Christ gives meaning to our sufferings. And through his suffering and death, Christ has made the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. But out of our sufferings, out of our anxieties and our struggles, there is peace and hope. Hope in a God who loves us so much that he suffered and died on the cross for us. And we hope in the resurrection when we will live for eternity with God in heaven. And so there is nothing to fear, as it says in Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? This is the peace God gives us. And not only does he offer us his peace, he gives us help through the Advocate, the Holy Spirit. Through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, God wishes to instill in us his peace. This is because God made us for love, and the Holy Spirit helps us to know God personally and to grow in the knowledge of his great love for us. The Holy Spirit enables us to experience the love of God and to be assured of the Lord's abiding presence with us. The Holy Spirit also opens our ears to hear and understand the Word of God. And so, my dear friends, we have to allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts. We have to activate the faith and hope we received at our baptism. If we are to truly embrace the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to inflame our hearts with the love of God and His Word. Now, if we do this, we will truly have the peace that we desire so much, the peace that only Christ can give.
I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Filled with the joy of the resurrection, let us join with one another to present our prayers to the Lord. For the church, providing signs of God's love to those in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peace among all nations and for the peace in human hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, that they will always give authentic witness to the teachings of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the infirmed, separated from their parish communities, and all those who join us today, that this Mass is celebrated for them will bring them comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take a few moments to offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we cannot bear fruit without your help. Hear and grant our prayers in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed this be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, for the kingdom, the power, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks. Be to God.